Hello my darlings, this is the reading for next three months for April, May and June 2023 and this reading is for you if you have soul gift divine communication. So let's see what messages from spirit we have for you. I can see that you have been thinking some negative thoughts and those thoughts uh, is manifesting into a reality for you and bringing challenges into your life it is because you keep thinking the same thoughts over and over again and you started attracting these thoughts into your life and it's gonna continue in the next three months if you're not gonna start focusing on your thoughts and stopping those thoughts when they occur also you might be in fearful about money as well it, it, the cards show me that the there is some fear surrounding money as well in in your life but don't be scared to reach out to others for some help um, accept uh, help from other people because the unit that's how the universe sends you help through other people and it's very poor timing for you to go self-employed if you have been thinking about doing that as well it's be due to those negative thoughts that you had been thinking for so long and you felt like a victim like life is um, life is unfair for you and other people and situations maybe keep hurting you in a way or maybe punishing you so you felt like life is against you so you going to perpetuate those the same energies in the next few months ahead as well so you have to stop it now and that that this karmic energy of your negative thoughts would finally dissipate and i can see that you have been focusing on everything that is negative in your life because things had not been turning out the way you thought and the way you hoped but forgive forgive yourself and forgive other people because everything happens for a reason trust that everything is a lesson and everything that comes into your life is a lesson for you to learn and it is a reason for for those negative situations that you had been focusing on look for hidden blessings in those such situations instead listen to your instincts what your instincts are, are telling you are they telling you it's gonna be okay so ignore those negative thoughts then are your instincts telling you just calm down it'll be fine so uh, try to listen what your instincts are telling you maybe you have been focusing on the negative things in your life for so long that even your instincts uh, have turned into um, negative as well are they telling you to be fearful are they telling you that it's not gonna be fine tomorrow are they telling you that you have to control the situation so listen what your instincts are telling you and if it's positive then it's your intuition then it's your higher self talking to you if it's negative then you probably programmed your instincts to to block you to stop you from moving forward so you need to pay attention to that as well and like i said uh, you have to stop that negative chatter in your mind inside you because you focus on this uh, negative communication you um, create the negative situations you attract you manifest the negative situations only because what we focus where our energy is that's what we attract in in our life so bear in mind and be very cautious of what you focus on it's time to bring back acceptance of yourself and your self-worth it's time to recognize how much you have achieved how far you have come it's time time to accept for who you are and the message that you want to share with the world it's time to accept that and finally let it out 
your self-worth if you don't have much self-worth is not gonna magically appear in your life you have to nourish that confidence you have to speak your message because you are a divine communicator so that's how your gifts shine when you communicate when you teach other people and that's how your self-worth is gonna grow and you know and i've been telling you that uh, when you speak when you communicate when you write that's when your soul gifts can shine and automatically when you notice that you actually give a good advice when you actually say something that is really interesting to other people to listen that's how you grow your self-worth that's how your self-worth grows so nourish that confidence by um opening your soul gifts and spreading your message sharing your message with people because in the next three months uh, spirit tells me that it will be a really good time to take some sort of action and give birth to your dreams so creative projects will be very successful for you and abundance will follow that as well um, I want to show you this card if you see this woman sitting with the unicorn in her hands and the unicorn I feel is your soul gift so she is holding it in in her hands but I feel like you had not been holding your unicorn your soul gift in your hands you are not been nourishing and you you had not been caring for that and i feel like you had abandoned it for a little bit so now it's the time to nourish it now it's the time to look after your soul gift and your soul gift talks about expressing yourself um, talking communicating writing speaking and anything that's to do with communication so it's time to take action it's time to nourish your your gifts and accept your gifts accept yourself for who you are be yourself this next three months is gonna call you for you to be authentic self which is the basis for your personal power been telling you this that when when you start um, communicating when you start sharing your visions when you start sharing your knowledge then you can actually be yourself and express your deepest um, wisdom that you have inside you there might be a career change coming in the next next three months be careful not to work on multiple projects multiple tasks this is gonna ask you to balance loads of things at the same time you're gonna be juggling loads of things so um try to prioritize what is most important try to schedule your time balance balance your priorities um try to not take on too many projects at the same time because uh, it might um, it might throw you out of your equilibrium if you if you do too too many tasks at the same time it might stress you out so bear in mind that um, it's better slow and steady progress then taking everything all at once whatever you do in the next few months uh, all those changes that you're gonna do in your life once you um, accepted your gifts accepted yourself and nourished your confidence and expressed yourself it's going to bring you a financial security for yourself and your family it's gonna bring you loads of peace and contentment in your life as well and um finally you're gonna start passing the knowledge i've been telling you you have to share what you know and through communication your soul gifts can shine so you'll finally next three months you're gonna start thinking how you could pass that knowledge that you have and you know that you have loads loads to share so once you start 
sharing yourself with the world sharing your knowledge with the world and your wisdom the fulfillment is gonna be yours and great happiness is gonna come into your life spirit also tells me that the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth and they gonna help you to unlock your throat chakra where all the communication comes from also they are telling me that um you, the answers that you seek are all in your heart and you need to look into your heart be open also giving and receiving love and maybe that's why this card says that it's good for you to spend more time with children because your connection with children is part of your life's purpose so maybe when you are around children you become this playful and joyful energy and create if you want to create together with them or maybe your wisdom can open up a little bit more when you talk to to children it could also mean that spirit wants you to get in touch with your inner child maybe to go back into childhood and bring back the things that you loved doing when you were a child look into your heart what your heart is telling you maybe your heart is telling you that you need a little bit more playfulness in your life and be more childish maybe then it's gonna help you to bring out your your gifts and attract those changes that you want into your life spirit also wants you to know that you are never alone your spirit guides and angels are always there to guide you to help you in everything that you need so instead of focusing on everything that's negative at the moment in your life try to focus on accepting yourself uh, growing your self-worth nourishing your confidence sharing your message with the world slow and steady working slow and steady and letting in that guidance from your higher self from your angels and spirit guides let that guide let that guidance in and then you'll feel that you you're not alone you don't need to face all those challenges by yourself and this will help you to feel more grounded and more excited about the, the future so what is blocking you and what you need to look at in the next few months you need to ask yourself if expectations that you have are impossible to meet i know you are perfectionists and you always want that everything to be perfect from the first time and you don't trust that your wisdom and your knowledge that you have is good enough but it is trust me it is you just being a perfectionist and your expectations for yourself may be a little bit too high the expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet we then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met it's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude so be grateful what you have achieved so far be grateful for those people who already listening to what you have to say be grateful to your future uh, listeners and those people who will accept your message be grateful for for that and don't expect everything to be perfect your first book to be perfect your per first poem to be perfect and your first course or anything like that to be perfect from the first time it's better if you had a steady grow and every step that you took you learned something new from it and then you changed accordingly and the next step you took you you learned something from it and you changed accordingly don't get your expectations so high that it's impossible to reach because you're gonna get disappointed and uh, ask yourself if you judging someone right now maybe you're judging yourself and if 
if you're judging someone or if you're judging yourself you need to in the next three months it's very important to release that judgment because i think when you judge yourself obviously you have high expectations because you want to be perfect so it comes down with judging yourself and expecting too much from yourself Ju judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love so that's why probably um angels are working with your heart chakra they'll they're helping you uh, to open open that and release judgment it binds us to our fear and holds us in shame on on whom are you placing judgment right now is it someone in your life is it yourself release the shackles drop the expectations and be grateful for what is so um if you find that you're judging yourself or judging others so uh, spirit tells me that you, it's uh, very crucial to release that judgment in the next three months and the affirmation that will help you in the next three months is my energy creates my reality what I focus on is what I will manifest. Like I said, if you've been focusing on everything negative that's happening in your life, so that's what that type of reality you are creating, that's what you are attracting in your life. So you need to refocus, focus on yourself, focus on growing yourself, growing your self-worth, growing your confidence, being yourself, being uniquely who you are and you'll find your tribe you'll find your listeners you'll find your readers focus on being the best that you can be focus on steady steady progress and focus on being a little bit better than you were yesterday and you'll see uh, you will start attracting that into your life so that's all i've got for you uh, in this reading i hope you enjoyed it and if you have a second soul gift make sure you watch that video as well to have a full view of the situation for the next three months for you and again i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in your next readings